Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem twenty-three in chapter twenty-six. Chapter twenty-six is about DC circuits. So we look at these circuits. We can see we have three resistors R one, R two, R three, right? With the power supply, the battery, epsilon, and the internal resistance R. Initially, this S is closed. Now let's do the calculation for S is closed. When S is closed. So that means R two and R three is in parallel connection. Agree. So the equivalent resistance for R two and R three we can write as R two three. Use this equation, we can get R two three just equal to R over two because R two R three R one equal to R. You input this quantities, you can get R two three as R over two. Now. The equivalent resistance for this closed circuit is R one plus R two three. That is R plus R over two, right? And this is three R over two. Mm -hmm. Now we can see in this circuit, the current at the main branches, and so the current goes through the R one. This current equal to I one, right? So R equal to I one equal to epsilon divided by the internal resistance R plus the R closed, and then. Input R closed, you can get the function look like this one, right? Now we can see the terminal resistance for A B, right? Terminal resistance V A B is epsilon minus I times R. Agree? Yes. So I times R, we input I inside, and we can get finally it look like this one. And then we can see the voltage cross the R one, so the V one equal to I one times R one. So input I one, and R one is just R. You get the term look like this one, and the V two and V three equal to the V A B minus V one, right? Because they are in parallel connection, potential difference equals so V two equal to V three equal to V A B minus V one, and you get it there. And so in this one, we can get the current for I two is V two over R two, I three is V three over R three. This is for S is closed. The second situation, S is open. So for S is open, so these are branches. So R three, the current goes through equal to zero, and the voltage goes through equal to zero. The circuit only has a battery and R one and R two. Do you agree? Yes. Now we can see the equivalent resistance for the open situation. R open is R one plus R two equal two R, and then we can get the current go through the this uh, uh circles. That is the current I equal to I one equal to I two equal to the epsilon divided by internal resistance plus external resistance, right? Epsilon divided by R plus two R. Mm -hmm. Now we can get the terminal. Uh, voltages V A B as epsilon minus I times R, right? And input I inside, you get the term look like this one, and V one as I one times R one, V two as I two times R two. This is our situation. Uh, solved the equation. Now we can see we can write this uh, uh, result for S is closed, and write the quantities for S is open. Now we can see first cases the A the we we can see we can what happens to the voltage drop across each of the resistors. So now what happens to the voltages? We can say for V one we compare. This is the V one S is closed. This is V one S is open. You can see this term is a three R over two. This term is two R. Of course. Two R is larger than three R over two, right? So this term is larger, and this is the at the bottom side for the ratio. So that means the V one is a decrease, agree? And the V two is increase. We can say V two S is closed is this term, and S is open is this term. Of course, is a increase, and V three we can say it just decrease to zero, agree? Now we look at the how the current changes. So current changes. We look at I one. I one initially is this term. I two finally is this term. So of course I one is decrease. 
I two is、uh, increase. I three decrease to zero, right? And、uh, the third one, how the terminal voltage changes? So, how how the terminal voltage changes? We can say the VAB, VAB. How it changes? It、uh, may be difficult for you to、uh, compare it, but I have a small trick. You can see the small r equal to one. You can give it a number, and the capital R equal to one, right? If this is one, that is a、uh, three over five epsilon. Agree? That is a、uh, two over three epsilon. So of course the VAB increases. This this is a small trick when you compare the、uh, terms. Now the third, the fourth one D tell you the EMF is nine volts. The Internal resistance is zero point five ohms. The external resistance five point five ohms. Ask you to find the terminal voltages. You can see the terminal voltages when it is closed. So that means we use this equation. Agree? Yes. So you input all the given quantities. You get the answer there. The fourth, the fifth part E. The part E. We can say ask you the Terminal voltages when the switch is open, so we use this term, right? So you put it there and input all the given quantity. Get answer is eight point six volts. Thank you.